I've been wanting to use Blender on my iPad for the longest time. I consider myself a draftsman and I am a total Procreate enthusiast. It's frame by frame animation is amazing. However, for 3D animation, I choose Blender because it, one, is absolutely free. And, well, my main reason is because it's, it's free. <laughs> The downsides are that it is a really, really steep learning curve and it doesn't have an iPad version. I did, however, find that this app called Duet Display will allow you to use Blender on your iPad. I'm gonna show you the full process and all of the problems that I went through so that you don't have to stress about it. It was stressful. Hopefully I can just save you the stress. When you use Duet Display, you can use Blender on your iPad and you can even use your Apple Pencil. I really hope this helps because if I would have had a walkthrough, it would have saved me days. Nothing I'm using is sponsored. I just wanted to try these things and I am paying for them myself. All right, let's do this. So this is Lollipop Man. He's the person that inspired me to download Duet Display to use Blender on my iPad. First, I went onto the App Store and downloaded the Duet app on my iPad for $10. Now I'm downloading it onto my computer. Remember to unlock at the bottom and you'll need to put in your password. Allow access to the app. Enable screen capture. You'll have to restart your computer. Agree to the terms. Okay, so here's the first problem I encountered. After verifying my email, I realized there's no way to plug in my iPad to my computer. So I have to use the air function. I have to use it through Wi-Fi. So I emailed them to figure out how I could operate it through Wi-Fi and found out that unfortunately you have to pay a separate membership in order to use the Wi-Fi slash air services. I decided it was worth it and paid for the pro $30 per year for all of the functions. Yes, it finally worked. And that's when we hit problem number two. There was a huge lag and it felt like forever. Like I would touch something and it would take about a minute for it to work. So that was definitely not working. I emailed them again and found out that if you downloaded it two times, then that can cause it to malfunction. So you have to make sure you only have one download of the application. Now here's what really solved the lag problem. Make sure your frame rate and resolution are set to the lowest setting. Now you'll be able to play around on your iPad. Time to have fun. Thanks for watching. If you got value out of it, like, subscribe, and share with a friend. It always helps. I really, really appreciate you watching. Wow, this has been fun. Mama's out. Oh, also, you want to see baby? Oh my gosh, she's so cute.